It's Puerto Rico Day. The campaign is launching very soon, depending on when you see this video. Uh, the pledge levels are announced. So we're going to go over what you're actually going to get and which pledge level I think you should be getting. So first off, if you are seeing the comments section here and you get stuck in this scroll, scroll down further on the side here to actually get into the campaign to see all of the updates here. It's all of just the regular advertising that we've gone over in the past. So the, uh, the ones that you can get are the standard edition and the special edition. Between standard and special, get the special. The standard edition is just updated artwork, essentially, from the base Puerto Rico 1987 reprint already. In the uh, standard edition and the base, uh, how do they call it? The standard and the special. Between the standard and the special, you still get double-walled player boards and all of the updated cardboard that has the bigger cardboard. You don't get these miniatures in the standard edition. You will get them in the special edition. You will get these two miniatures. However, there are more miniatures. If you are looking, we'll come down to those. You get the uh, board to set all of these things in so that you can find an easy to slip from. All of these are double sided to show the rules side and the artwork side. We have the different resources here as well and updated artwork. Now, it's showing you minis here. These minis are extra. Um, it's calling them in the miniature expansion, but it's actually the 3D terrain expansion. We'll get to that down there below. Same with these uh, minis that you're seeing here. Those are also in the 3D ter terrain pack. The ships, however, do come in the special edition. The standard edition, you're just going to get these cardboard ships. The upgraded resources are in the special edition. Downgraded woodwinds in the standard edition. All of these lovely minis exist in the special edition. Standard edition is wooden chips. Metal coins in the special edition, cardboard coins in the standard edition. Uh, that's a sample of the coins from Castle of Burgundy. Um, it's going to come with all of the expansions in the special edition. Uh, the Citizens expansion has more minis. In the special edition, in the standard edition, it has just the wooden chip. Shipping is your standard expensive shipping that we're coming to accustom with uh, with crowdfunding. Uh, it's literally for Canada here. I'm a dollar more than what I would expect. Oh no. I already budgeted for the game. This is just showing the, the, the sun drop effect. Um, they haven't announced sun drop as an option, I don't think. We'll have to get to that. Okay, so now we're down here. This is the actual rewards you can get. So for the $95 level, you're getting all of those special stuff here. Uh, if you click this, it's going to show you the campaign. This one's showing you the campaign. It's confusing. Don't click that one. You're going to get the stretch goals that happened. They haven't announced what the stretch goals are yet. You're going to get all the deluxe components. So the deluxe components, again, are the ships, the resources, two miniature buildings, all of the miniatures for the base game, metal coins, all of the miniatures for the citizens expansion. That is the special edition. The standard pledge is the core box that contains wooden tokens instead. And so it's just reminding you here of here are all the standard edition components. Plus the stretch goals. Now, if we go down to the merchant's pledge, this is the one that does introduces acrylic tiles, which they did not show earlier in the campaign. So they're kind of hidden, but they are here. This is what we expected to happen. They do say they're going to be double-sided. However, they uh, this one here, we get a sneak peek of it showing the artwork. However, the rest of these are all showing the rules side. Now, I want the landscape pledge. This one comes with the 3D terrain pack. So once again here, you pop into here, and now we're seeing the 3D terrain pack. So here's all of those extra buildings that they hinted at in the campaign as well as the resource uh, miniatures as well. These look really cool. Now, I did the math because when you get these 3D terrain packs, you don't really need the acrylic tiles because you're going to be putting these in the double-walled slots instead of the acrylic tiles. However, if you buy the standard uh, edition at 95 and then just the terrain pack at 95, it's $190. For five bucks more, why not grab the acrylic tiles? Now there's the Grande Pledge. This one I don't think you need. This is bringing in the San Juan card game. 
with the new artwork that they're using in Puerto Rico, as well as sleeves for the San Juan card game and for any of the cards in the core box. Uh, so these are cards for, uh, I guess the expansions, I think, have some cards here, as well as they are launching some cards here as a teaser in the day one uh, stretch goals. And then there's going to be a day three stretch goal. So we don't know what those will be yet. So keep an eye out on that because I know everyone's excited for this campaign. It's been pretty popular. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to go with the landscape pledge. Once again, click into your pledge. These are clickable. Shows you what you're going to get here. Highly recommend going for the landscape pledge at 195. This is US dollars. Um, don't bother with the standard pledge because just buy the reprinted Puerto Rico uh, 1987 and uh, you you don't need this. If you want just the base one, get the 95 standard edition, but for a hundred bucks more, you are getting acrylic tiles and 3D terrain, which each go here. So the terrain itself is a hundred bucks and the acrylic tiles are 43. And you can add on the card game if you want instead of the base thing. These also are all coming with a neoprene playmat, uh, which is kind of what we expect. I, I really hope that they find a way to put that in the box, unlike what they did with Castles of Burgundy, but I'm not hopeful. I imagine that's probably going to come out outside of the box. Um, then it's telling you the, the team here. It does say the AR team artist. Um, I... Looking through all of this artwork, I don't, it is consistent. It has a consistent voice. So I don't think there is any use of AI here because they did use some AI and got called out for it in their marketing campaign when they first, first launched. Uh, however, they quickly took that down. Um, so I think we're good here. Uh, keep an eye on everything. I'm going to go in for the landscape pledge once it launches. Tell me what you have pledged in the comments down below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.